Now, Nassim will answer a few great questions from our viewers. How does all this energy connect us together? Does it have anything to do with how we manifest? I can now show that gravity is, different, is directly tied into the information structure of the vacuum itself. And, you know, you're made out of protons, so you're part of this information network and your gravitational mass is the result of the information you hold. For instance, if you lose protons, you lose a little mass over here. Um, if you gain them by putting them back into your system um, in the double torus structure of your existence, um, then you gain mass again. And so there is, um, you know, the information that you represent is very dynamically changing as evolution occurs and so um this is all uh fundamentally uh embedded at all the scales for instance the gravitational structure of the earth is all the protons that it has and it's you know uh it, it's constantly losing some as well and you know it so it's evolving it's changing and so on it's receiving some from space if you'd like uh, as well, and if um, if you think of the evolution of a planet relative to you, um, then you have like a evolutionary scale relationship that you can think of as per, perhaps as uh, Rupert Sheldrake uh, morphogenetic field, in which the information that is on the surface of the planet, which includes you is shared through the gravitational field of that entity we call the Earth. And you're, so you are communicating gravitationally with each other when you're in the presence of each other by gravitational mass curvature of space-time. And so there, there's all, all these relationships at different scale is what is feeding the information through the system and informing the whole structure of space-time across scale. So it's a really good observation, that question.